Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we are here on Midnight Mountain. Why? That's why. Time to confront the least appetizing challenge that's still lying ahead of me. You know, I've noticed that the crystal bears don't seem to respawn. Uh, I guess I didn't get that one yet. Or maybe I just uh, came to the wrong conclusion when I saw there was an achievement for killing all of them. Acrobatabar! No, 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 no. Acrobatabadoo! No, 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 it isn't right. I just hold on a minute, I'll get it. Why are they Italian anyway? The area isn't Italian-themed. Oh yes, actually this is why we're here. Yay! Time to whack some moles! God have mercy. What's up? Huh, it really is first person view in your Bentley. I'm gonna kill you. I am afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. All they need is a good bonker on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the Yeti to help. No. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful, my friends are trying to burrow after them. Hey, here's a fantastic idea. Why don't you pull your friends out of there so I can just whack anything I see? So yes, if you don't remember, I need to hit 20 moles in a time limit, and I need to do it without hitting a single gnome or I lose. There's no reason for the time limit. It's just there. That didn't count. He's dead. Ha! I got you, you little shit. Damn it! That did not do it. You see? That guy was he wasn't even on screen. I can't sprint either. Oh. Forgot I could do that. Not useful here. Ah! Yeah, shit. Ah, fuck. That did not do it. A light to top. See, I prefer that. Well, we didn't. Well, that didn't do it. Uh, way, way, way more uh, preferable to you know the trouble with the trolley approach, or they're just making fun of you. Get out of my way. The more of these guys you bonk, the more of them appear. I think. Fuck! How can they be too close to hit them with a club? It's a club! Do you know what the most advanced we uh, device in the world was when the club was invented? You're looking at it! <laughs> this is a time period when the spear was uh, considered revolutionary. A light to tap on the... At least I didn't hit any gnomes this time. Damn it. Oh, 
right? You know what? That was a bad go. I swear they're doing it on purpose. Every time I hit one of them, two more appear. Fuck. I've played Whack-A-Mole. Whack-A-Mole is fun. This is stressful. How in the world could you take something based around hitting things with a hammer and make it less fun? I feel like they have to pick. I really do. I feel like they have to pick one or the other. Either do not hit the gnomes, or don't, you know, or put a time limit on it. Not both! If it's just a matter of mash all these dudes in, uh, you know, one minute, that's a thing. That's valid. And if it's don't hit uh, the wrong guys, that's also valid. But both? Ah, grumble, grumble, grumble. Thank you. Fuck. Fuck. That is still the... Sorry, got the alt-tabbing issue again on top of everything else. That dead spot right in front of Bentley, that's really, really uncool. Fucking. I'm not even counting, to be honest. I'm just trying not to hit anybody that's the wrong one. Counting it. Look, I'm, all I'm saying is it's very lucky I wasn't playing as Bentley in that level with the guy who chose not to turn on the uh, the speed trap uh, track. A trap a speed track. A trap is something else entirely. Away from him, you idiot. I've got a fantastic idea. What if I kick the moles? The moles the gnomes. Kick them away from the moles. My giant clobbery feet. They are literally his defining feature. There was a guy right in front of me. I didn't even see him. I was looking at the guy past him. I wanted to take one step forward and hit that guy. Alright, light tap. Got you. If I'm not going to enjoy this, he's not going to enjoy it either. I'm just saying. Ah, grumble, grumble, grumble. Would you fuck off, my dude?
Honestly, Ripto is more helpful to me in the long run. You have any idea how many gems I got from his minions? How are the ones in the wizard hats not like a bonus point or something? Well, that did not do it. Okay. I guess I will do a jump cut. Blah. Seventh attempt since the jump cut. A Hopefully this time two of his friends won't spawn directly on me and I will be able to move. Not sorry, you had it coming. friends dug this up while chasing the moles. Yeah, sorry about the headache, but in fairness, you kind of had it coming. Happy birthday, Hank. I'm not even going to ask. Although I do have some serious questions for the uh, dragon parents of the world. What the hell is going on with this? Why are there two of them? Maybe the trick was that only fucker, fucking moles would spawn over here? It's the moly grail. Well, let me guess. I am afraid I've had to cancel my next performance. One of the moles ate all of my magic cards. Oh. I mean, I was gonna say something about it, you know, him having it coming, but... Eh, they doesn't deserve to have his equipment devoured. I thought it was going to be something about all the moles uh, taking time off to uh, go get their headaches looked at. Whack-a-mole! And catch the flying thief. Oh, yes, I do remember that. With this. There's the beavers. Right, right, they're in the magical bullshit level. There he is! I saw him! I think this is the only level that these appear in. At, oh. That isn't a uh, speedway level. Need to refuel. Whoa! I was not expecting it to be uh, that punchy. Hey man, I am a world-class racer. You get back here right this instant, young man, that I might incinerate you. Happy birthday, Max. Love his enthusiasm. Yes! Uh, no, there isn't even one here at all. Sure. Skateboard record time, find Agent 9's power-up in the fireworks factory. Presumably in the, uh, the Doom level. And hit the secret dino! In Dino Mines. Man, that does feel good. Let me just, uh, check something here. Okay. Sorry about that. 
Okay, what's next? Uh, snake slide, do those things, or that, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna look up online if there's a trick to the snake slide I'm not seeing. Okay. So, uh... There we go. Took some damage there. Also fell off a cliff, just trying to get back out. That's not good. Um... Yes. I saw one guy who said that, uh, hugging the walls, like intentionally pushing yourself into the walls uh, as you're going down the slide will slow you way down and make it easier to steer. I saw another guy who, uh... You know, said you can just glide down the thing. That hardly seems sporting. And I found someone else who says it becomes, uh, pathetically easy if you just hold down the keep camera behind you button. Okay. Well, I'll try anything once, I guess. Okay, yeah, do that. Malcolm! Happy birthday. It's good to have you in the world. And there it is. Fuck yeah! So yeah, well, <laughs> there's my advice. You want to get to this level? Hold down L. Then I guess I'll head off to, uh, this. I'm hoping the gun- oh, I guess the gunfight would have to be the, uh... The Agent 9 portion of the level. You know, I was advised that the real strategy for beating these guys is to charge them and then flame them. You know, just close in before they can finish their, uh, fancy animation. Well, that does seem to work. I can't quite remember who said that, unfortunately. Shout out, it was Miracle Tiger, who also said that in the original game, the, uh, the cowboy dinosaur's arms were drawn so small that, uh, he didn't know how they were holding their guns for a while. <laughs> Wait, really? Huh. He didn't catch his guns, but they were still in his holster. Sausages! No, those are like giant darts, I guess. No, those are sausages. That's weird. I just realized they had the thing on the back, too. Why sausages? Why are there sausage gunners? Damn it. Damn it. Well, that shouldn't have worked. Oh shit, that wasn't a physical object. God damn. Sorry about that, Sparks. My bad. At least I can beat you motherfuckers with just a serpentine maneuver. back and, uh, find some more bugs. Maybe. I just don't want to get into the watery bit without that. You know, extra health. That's right, they're crabs in this level. How do I get over there anyway? 
Yes, I got that. Closer. Well, I'll be damned. You can get across that bridge without being harmed. Surprised he didn't go comically go through the window. That was a very common thing to see in uh, westerns. How's there not a gem up there? Well, that would have been dramatic, wouldn't it? Where is that other gem, come to think of it? Oh! Well, there's an egg over there. No, the ledge wasn't real! Shit. Ow. My leg. Oh wow, that really, really does make a difference. Holy shit. Death to you! Alright, just checking. It did seem a kind of a stupid question, but yes, that doesn't uh, get you through there. Okay, I've done this? I feel like I've done this. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine. Yeah, yeah, that Peter Holiday. I get it back for you, One named after I Doc Holiday. Gone. It's just gone. Oh. Okay. I'm burning dog face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. When we figure out where the Jurassic Corral is, have a gunfight there, and continue our quest towards the end of the game. Later.